Time now for Stugatz's weekend observations. It is time for Stugatz to share his game notes. No one in the media will tell you what happened better than my boy Stu. Dan, it's the greatest week in sports. A tradition unlike any other. The majesty, the spectacle, the storylines. That's right. It's WrestleMania week. Yeah. Yeah. LA Clippers, 48 and 35. Great coaching job by Doc Rivers, considering how much he has to play his son. Kevin Durant said his increased technical fouls are due to his intense desire to repeat. Oh, please. Kevin, if you mean repeating, not winning a championship in my personal record book, well, then, yes. I understand. Sister Jean stealing all the limelight from the players. Sister Jean, please. More like Sister Mean. Calling the national championship game. Hopping on a private bird to Augusta. Every single year, the best week in broadcasting award goes to Jim Nance. I hate him. Almost as much as Phil Sims does. Women's Final Four. Better than the men's. Notre Dame's guard, number 24, the big O, clutch, beating UConn on your way to winning a national championship, earns you two titles in my personal record book. Kawhi went back to New York to rehab his quad. Kawhi, more like Kawhi. Final four, more like final four. The best coach in Michigan ain't the football coach. Gino Auriemma can't win the big one. Golden State Warriors limping into the playoffs. Steve Kerr saying Vince Carter knows better. After he saw Patrick McGraw was hurt. Steve, do me a favor. Do everyone a favor. Get over yourself. You should know better. That's an insult. Uh, You should know better than to insult another coach by letting your players coach the game because his team is so bad. Steve Kerr, so you know, you took over a thoroughbred, an all-star team. Steve Kerr, not only have you never won a championship in my personal record book, you've never even coached, period. Guess who's hurt again? Chris Paul. Still can't name a single player on Loyola Chicago, or their head coach, Sister Jean, leaves the Loyola Chicago game early. Sister Jean, the Stugats, is strong in you. Dan? No, 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 Sister Jean can scoot. I thought for sure we were going to get a Sister Jean can scoot. You already used it. I, oh, I, did I steal it from you? You had it lined up? Yes, yeah, so I crossed it out. I'm sorry. Dan, I took time out of my weekend and penned a letter to college basketball. I'm going to read it to you. Dear college basketball, I don't care about you anymore. <laughs> Sincerely, wow. Stugatz. Wow. I'm done with it. No, I'm saying I'm done with it. A 920 start on a Monday. Let me tell you something. All people want to do on a Monday, go to work, go home, eat a nice hot meal, take a shower, go to bed, move on with the rest of the week. You know what they don't want to do? Stay up till 920 on a Monday night, maybe midnight tonight, for two teams they don't care about, and they can't have a player on either team. I'm done with it. There's not a single player you can latch yourself to in NCAA college basketball. Not one, except for the big O. Michigan, Villanova, battle of blue bloods. It felt like the entire country. What just just happened? What do you mean what happened there? You railed against the entire system. We got a classic tonight, though. (laughs) Just an absolute beauty. Uh, You got Michigan, okay? And you got Villanova. I mean, the history with Villanova, eight seed over a one seed back in 85 with Ed Pickney and Raleigh Massimino, that whole thing. And then Jay Wright sweeps in, best looking guy in sports. And he comes in, they're a powerhouse. So you have Michigan, Nova, Blue Bloods. I can't wait for 920 tonight. I stay up till two in the morning to watch that thing if I had to. College basketball is back. <laughs> it felt like the entire country found out at the same time that Villanova is good every year without fail. My wife will ask me who the Villanova coach is. And you know what? I don't blame her. Washington Nationals off to a 3-0 start. Yawn. Do it in the postseason. Hassan Whiteside. San Antonio Spurs. Collision course. 
the Patriots hate their coach. Early nominee for least surprising headline of the year, John Gruden dislikes the personality of his punter. Always get nervous when I see the words Gronk and horse in the same headline. Rick Pitino vowed not to step foot in the state of Kentucky ever again because he's so upset about his firing. You really got him, Rick. At Kentucky, don't worry. He'll be back once he sucks the blood out of all the other states. Pop said he has no idea when the Kawhi group will okay Kawhi's return. Damn, now it's a group, not just an individual. Doesn't sound good. Sounds like he's leaving. Kawhi! Pat Riley is up to something. I can feel it in my bones. Can you? Well, and there's silence in Rileyville. And we all know what happens when there's silence in Rileyville. We need to be working on something big. When there's silence in Rileyville, let me tell you what's going on. He's being very, very quiet. He's whale fishing, and he doesn't want to disrupt the whales. Kawhale. How about that? If Thor and the Degrominator stay healthy all year, watch out for the Metskis. Baseball managers, we sit through your long and boring game. Do me a favor. When a guy has a no-no going, leave him in the game. Rick Pitino calling the Louisville Board of Trustees, the Board of Traders. A, <laughs> not funny. Yeah, B, is funny. holy is, hell, it is funny. the Stugats is strong yeah, in you. That, that is oh, what funny, is funny about it? Board of Traders. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> a vampire fighting against a Board of Trustees by trying to insult them after they've let him go by calling them a Board of Traders is funny. I mean, he's been thinking of that line for 400 years. All right. A, funny. B, holy hell, the Stugats is strong in you. Sister Jean, residency in Vegas, collision course. Hope everyone had a great Easter weekend. Of course, let's not forget our Jewish friends who celebrated Passover, like Tariq Cohen and Juju Smith-Schuster. Let me tell you something, (laughs) and I am serious about this. If Rick Riley yeah. pops out of nowhere this weekend to deliver one of those awful essays oh, no. about the Masters, no. there's going to be hell to pay. Oh, wow. And speaking oh, of hell, there it is. Or Bryles. Yeah, hell to pay. <laughs> yeah, there will be a hell to pay. <laughs> I mean, Riley, hey, he comes out of a cabin That's once right. a year That's right. and he delivers a clunky essay That's right. about the Masters. That's right. I don't need it. Okay. Uh, Ronaldo's enough. All right. Uh, I got a couple of those questions. Those are the weekend